Welcome back, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, the Zim Apex settings that I'm using for Apex Legends. So first, uh, I didn't have this downloaded, so first I have to come uh, download the latest. I am actually already on the latest firmware. So this is the manager. Uh, download Android PC. So we want this for PC. As you see, downloading. Complete it, open file, run that, close that down, next, manager, start menu items, create desktop shortcut, next, install. <coughs> so, once you get this uh, Zim Apex manager, the latest one installed, you're good. So, boom, continue, accept, download, update, okay. So now it's running great. Now we're gonna just plug this bad baby in and uh, connect it so I can show you guys the settings. So as you plug it in, you wanna quickly hit that button and boom, it should work. Um, thank you for your Zim, blah, blah, blah. So these are the settings I'm using right now, the V2 AOC PC. So let's take a look at them. So as you can see here, actually I want to show you guys my peripherals too. So let's try to, I'll try to plug them in. Okay, so here are the peripherals. Boom. So here are my peripherals. We've got a wireless controller here, the PlayStation 4 controller. We have the Razer Ultimate, the Razer Basilicus Ultimate Wireless Dongle. And we have the GK61 gaming keyboard. Now, usually the dongle pops up as a thousand hertz. So let's look. See if it does. Not sure. Usually it pops up as a thousand hertz, but I don't. Let's just re initiate Zoom. So it's not popping up as a thousand hertz, but as you can see in global, we are using a thousand hertz. So I'm on a thousand hertz as always. Oh, there's the mouse. So the mouse is running at a thousand hertz. What I wish they do is they allow Zim to read the polling of the other devices, but this is at a thousand hertz based on the the software we used in the other video. Uh, this is at a thousand hertz based on the software we're using in the other, in the other video. So both of these are at a thousand hertz as well. Even if your controller isn't set to one millisecond, Zim still runs pretty, pretty, pretty great. You may even feel better on that setting. Um. So yeah, that's where we're at. We're also on Apex ALC X 1.2. This is the ALC config here. Dang, my mouse not plugged in. My keyboard's not plugged in. But anyway, we're using Apex Legends ALC. I don't use Classic anymore. Uh, not sure. I haven't really tried it since. But honestly, ALC have so much many more benefits, especially customization of the scopes. And uh, it's ALC. It's uh, it's definitely more customizable. Uh, I would say that the other version is pretty much more simple. Simple. So. I did like it a lot, but ALC is now better for me. More customization. So here we have the hip sensitivity 5.12. We have the aim down sight sensitivity 2.56. And we have my inventory sensitivity that allows me to maneuver in inventory at 5.12 as well. But here there are no ballistic curves. We're on synchronized common. My favorite sync is common. The only other sync I used to use on console was synchronization off. But my favorite sync was common and off on console. On PC, my favorite sync is uh, pretty much common and default, I would say. But common still is just the best for me overall in most cases. Um, stimulate analog is zero. Only use zero and off. Zero has been what I've been using pretty much lately on PC. It's really smooth. Off is still really good, but zero is really smooth. 
down here. I usually keep these at default 7500, 7500, 2020. Uh, if I did change this, oops, if I did change this, what I would do was I would make this ultra by turning it to zero. That's pretty good. When you turn it to zero, it works pretty good. So that is an option, but it can get a little a little uh unpredictable on movement sometimes you know it's really fast it works really good it like improves your movement but you get a little bit less dead sliding in apex legends specifically so uh it works pretty good in apex legends but um you don't have to use it 7500 still works great but uh i did have some great gameplay on that setting uh, so it's usable your only options really are zero in the left stick or zero and off for the stimulate. I personally use a, a zero stimulate and a zero left stick or a zero stimulate and a default 7500 left stick. Generally, I'm always on zero though. I'm usually never on off unless it's a different game. I might be on off, but usually I'm on zero. Um. So currently I'm on zero, zero seven five hundred common, common everything here is on common everything. There are no ballistic curves on any of these. Uh, we oh yeah, right here we have smooth aim enabled, no delays. Uh, we have my button set up. So I've discussed many times. Um, that's about it for the uh, Zim Apex settings here. There's no smoothing, no none of this. Uh, the left stick enabled, so we can move in the inventory. No smoothing. No smoothing. So that's all for the setting, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe. These are the uh, Zim Apex settings I'm using currently. Uh, they work pretty good. They're default settings. Some of the best settings you can use actually are the default settings, which would pretty much be movement at zero, aim at 7500, and whatnot there. Default. And then the upgrade to Zim Apex, which is common sync, which is extremely smooth for your aim. So, uh, default works great as well. Um, it's a little bit faster, so. If you want a little more speed or something, default works great. Common, uh, technically your aim can be better in common because it's uh, more predictable. It's um, you get a little more aim assist. Uh, it's smoother because it's running at 60 frames, I guess I suppose. So that's not bad. Common is great. Um, it's very usable. So yeah, see you on the next one.